Okay, hello, hi, what's up? Uh, so you, you want the force field hat. And you don't want to play bingo for 28 hours in a row. Well, you're in luck. There is a bot that I made. It is very scuffed, but it does work. So here's how you get the bot. Okay, so before we get into the video, um, this bot uses Java, so make sure you have Java downloaded at this website. You can download Java here, you can install it, and yeah, uh, over here, you see the GitHub page in the description. There are a few files here that you can download. So before you download, you have to make sure that your monitor is set to 1080p. You can check by going to display settings and you can see the display resolution is 1080p here. If it is anything higher, you can change it down to 1080p, but it has to be 1080p. If your monitor's resolution is lower than 1080p, you obviously can't increase it, in which case there is another solution later. Why did I decide to record this in in this game? Oh god. Alright, anyways. So, additionally, uh, make sure that your scale is set to 100% and your taskbar is on the bottom. And with that, we should be set. Okay, so uh, depending on which operating system you're on, it works on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm not sure if it works on Linux or Mac, but it should work on other Windows installs too. Although you might have to go to the source code and change some things. Currently, this computer I'm on is Windows 10, so I will download the forcefieldhadbot.jar. If you're on Windows 11, download the Windows 11 one. Well, I've already downloaded it. And then download uh, forcefieldhadbot underscore 2.exe, uh, no matter which operating system you're on. So just download this. Okay, so now that we have files here, we can now try running the bot. So, how we do this is, first of all, change your graphics below because, you know, you're AFK. You don't want to brick your computer. Okay, so you're, you are on 1080p, so you got to make sure that um, you're in windowed mode, so not full screen, and you're maximized. So first of all, uh, we're gonna get a short suit. So currently uh, this one's on sale, so it's pretty short, it should work. And then now we can go back to Mr. Bingo Man. Okay, so you're at Mr. Bingo Man. So get a bingo card first. Make sure you have auto bingo off, because if you get a bingo during the bot running, it's gonna break the bot. Also make sure your bingo card is in slot two. So if you have a broom or a drink, make sure your bingo card is in slot two. Now, what we gotta do, you can see my mouse here. We gotta make it so you can click on uh, Mr. Cardman from here. Because what you can do is if you click four times, one, two, three, four, um, you can see that we can refresh a bingo card. And this is what the bot is going to do. So we're not actually gonna get any bingos because getting bingos are slow, you know? If you really only want the force field hat and you have money, you, you don't need to get any bingos. Okay, so where you will AFK, you can just like go here, you can just like do this. Another place you can go is because you have a short avatar, you can literally go under a counter like this and you can uh, angle your camera like this. I guess it's less obtrusive um, and you can still uh, get the card. So now that you're in position, um, what you gotta do, open up the folder where you download your stuff and make sure that it's only on the left side. So dock it to the left side and Keep Roblox maximized. Now, first of all, you gotta open the exe. So you gotta open forcefieldhadbot underscore 2.exe. This pop-up should appear, signaling that you've actually opened the file correctly. Wow. Okay, so just type in whatever, uh, press OK, and now the second part of the bot should be working. There are two parts because um, this is using auto hotkey, which is a lot better at macro Java. So now that we have the exe open, we can now open the jar. So click on the jar that you downloaded. And it should start automatically working. As you can see, um, it just refreshed our bingo card. And now, let's wait until there are more squares filled on the board. So currently I have the bot coded to only detecting the 5 or 6 square letters that will win the force field hat. Which means that it's not going to detect the massive, like, M or massive E or anything like that because that's like mathematically really really slow. Like if we only care about the small ones like the lowercase t and the lowercase y, then it'll have to be a lot faster. 
As you can see, the bot just refreshed our card, and that happened because there were no more possibilities to get those letters. So there's no point in keeping the card anymore, so the bot automatically refreshes the card. And you can just keep this running. You're not gonna get kicked for AFK because it should refresh the card like relatively quickly. And yeah, that's really about it. However, that's not the end of the video as there are a few caveats. Okay, so first thing is, how do you close this bot? Because you may have noticed when you clicked on the jar file, nothing opened, like, you know. It's because I coded the bot in two hours, like, I, I wasn't gonna add any over-the-top bells and whistles, like, a window that you can click on to close the bot. <clears throat> anyway, so how you close the bot is, you open up Task Manager, you can end this task there, and you can end this task here. And that's how you close the bot. It's, it's kind of scuffed, but there you go. So that should be everything. Um, if this helped you, please drop a like. And subscribe if you want more scuffed tutorials of scuffed bots like this. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching.